Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit, and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. But before we get to those callers, welcome everyone to Angel Healing House Radio and now Angel Healing House Radio TV as well, because as of last week, we are live on Facebook. And if you'd like to watch the show as well as listen to it, all you need to do is go to the Transformation Talk Radio Facebook page, click on the link, and then you can watch the show. Just a reminder, everyone, that if you missed any of the previous Angel Healing House Radio programs, you can go to the Angel Healing House Radio with Claire Candy Hoff page on Transformation Talk Radio, and you can listen to the archive shows any time of the day and um, any day of the week. Uh, They're all there. There's a wealth of channeled information on different topics. Now, you know, with the Posse of Angels, Choosing the theme of the shows this May to be about heaven and the afterlife, well, I can tell you that last week's program certainly garnered a great deal of attention with the, when the Posse of Angels was speaking about how we all wrote soul contracts for our physical lives before we incarnated. Now, having shared this information, as, the, as they wanted us to really help us to remember how we partnered with the Etheric Council. Now, those people that may, know what, may not know what the Etheric Council is, there's a wise group of sage elders across the veil to, that help us to write our contracts in our book of life before we come into physical form. And the Posse of Angels want to give us an overall of the journey that we all get to take from this physical form to our non-physical state when we cross over. They want to paint a really clear picture of what it is like to cross over to the afterlife, to heaven, to home, or whatever choice of words you want to use to go from our non-physical presence in spirit after we cro- uh, cro- uh, uh, to go from our physical presence over to the non-physical state across the veil. You know, my book, which is entitled One True Home uh, uh, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, um, is a wonderful book that, uh, that shows the different lives, the most important lives that I lived because I, um, previous incarnations, because I learned the most spiritually and then what happened when I crossed over, and what I actually did in the afterlife. By the way, if you want to purchase the book, you can go to the Angel Healing House website, which is 
angelhealinghouse.com or the book can be purchased on Amazon as well. So let's get straight into this. Uh, there was a famous doctor, a Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. She was a psychiatrist and she was also an author and she gained international recognition and fame when with her work on death and also dying. Um, she has a wonderful quote and she said, death is simply a shedding of the physical body like a butterfly a sheds its cocoon. It's a transition to a higher state of consciousness where one continues to perceive, to understand, to laugh, and to be able to grow. Okay, so here the posse of angels, they wish to remind us that when death, so-called death, is upon us, there's an inbuilt instinct in all of us to live. Now, no matter how traumatic your life is and no matter how you want to get out of your life, this is not negotiable on any level for it's an automatic response in us to want to live. It's similar to a flight or fight response. Now, the reason we fight to live is because it's absolutely inconceivable to the conscious mind that any other reality could possibly exist besides the earth world of physical matter bounded by linear space and time. We are so used to it because that's all we've known, coming in and being veiled from our non-physical form. We've been trained, actually, and we've been taught since birth to wear a body in order to live and thrive in a physical world. And we know ourselves to be who we are from the external stimuli that we get through our physical bodies. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that when we cross over, they really are stressing this, we are still alive. We're very much alive. It's different because we no longer have and wear our earth suits, this, I call it this funny little meat suit that we're in, because <laughs> that's all we've ever known. That's our indicator. We shed the physical body once we cross over. And at the moment of death, when we do leave, leave our physical body, there's a step up in energy. There's actually an increase in speed as we're suddenly vibrating faster than before. Okay, let's use a radio as an analogy. We've lived all of our lives at a certain radio frequency in this physical body. And suddenly, when we shed the physical form, there's a step up in energy. This allows your vibrational energy to change um, it, uh, and, and to be on a different wavelength. The original frequency where you, where you were and you once existed... It's still there in that physical plane. It did not change. You changed or we changed because we left our physical body behind. You cannot exist forever where you do not energetically belong. And the Posse of Angels is reminding us that everything is energy. We shift frequencies in dying. We switch over to a life on another wavelength. Um, we don't actually die when we die. It's a shift. You shift your consciousness and speed of vibration. You know, come to think of it, that's all death really is. It's a shift in vibration. <laughs> the posse of angels are laughing now. And remember, they don't laugh at us. They laugh with us. And they're saying, in fact, if you expect to die when you cross over, boy, are you going to be disappointed. The only thing you'll lose in death is your body, and you are not your body. Think of your body like a car. Your body is the vehicle that drives around your soul or spirit. I've owned about six or seven cars in my lifetime and traded them in when they started to wear out. You know, our bodies are the same. Something you trade in when it starts to wear out. Now, the wearing out can be it wears out physically if a person hasn't really looked after their physical health and it starts to break down or emotionally if there's a lots of stress and worries and tension the body can only take so much 
Or if there are none of those, the body could wear out because the allotted time that you wrote in your physical incarnation to learn your lessons and to grow an experience has worn out or it's come to an end. Now, the posse of angels want us to know that during death, these things will happen. Your heart stops and your body goes limp. You lose your sight, your feeling and movement. And while no air is going in and out and you're not breathing, we are still alive. In fact, they're saying that it's so much easier and more comfortable and more natural not to breathe than it is to breathe. Yet with all of this, once we cross over, we become aware on some level that we still exist. You know, everyone, I recently watched the movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. It's a wonderful movie if you have not watched it. And in the specials in my DVD, uh, they interviewed several mediums like James Van Prague. And they said that what happens after we die is absolutely and accurately depicted in this movie. Immediately upon death, when Patrick Swayze dies, he looks at his body and he doesn't know quite what's happened as he sees himself, but it's strange because he knows that he still exists. The Posse of Angels is saying that that's why so many people are met by angels and spirit guides to help them understand and to help them cross over. Now, just an important note here about our senses, our five really important physical senses, our sense of sight, of touch, of taste and smell. All of those will cease upon our death, but it's not the same with our hearing. You know, if you are in the room with someone who is dying and a nurse or a doctor declares them deceased, don't say something like, oh, phew, I'm glad that's over. Now I can go shop the sales at the department stores because they will hear you. Hearing is our last sense to leave us. Now, the Posse of Angels wishes to remind us that at the moment of death, there is no pain. There's silence. There's peace, quiet and calm. They really want us to know that those who died in accidents and horrific events, that right before the experience, the soul is removed from the body and they do not experience that awful pain. Also, those people who have been ill and are suddenly returned, they are suddenly returned to perfect health and are pain-free as all of their ailments and all of their illnesses disappear. Helen Keller, who was born both blind and deaf, said death is more than, it's no more than passing from one room into another. And she said, but you know, there is a difference. I will be able to see in that other room. There have been countless research studies on people who have been blind from birth, who have had a near-death experience um, in the, in, uh, the surgery while well, they're having a surgery and when they crossed over that during that time they were able to see and when they came back and they're coming back into their blind physical form they were able to accurately um, discuss and relate and share all of the events that went on in the surgery room down to the color of their the uh, the outfits that the surgeons were wearing, utensils that they used, and everything else. And um, this is just one aspect of when we cross over. We are physically fit and uh, we don't have any ailments or illnesses anymore. Just like we become pain-free, one thing that we can do on the other side is we can choose our appearance when we cross over, including our age and our ethnicity and our gender. Now, another beautiful movie that I recommend that comes to mind that depicts heaven or home or the afterlife is entitled What Dreams May Come. And that's with Robin Williams and his daughter who meets who he meets in heaven. She chooses to appear as an Asian woman because she feels most pretty being Asian. You know, we can look exactly how we desire 
because what we do is we lose the limitation of physical density. We're just energy. And as everything is energy, we can choose to just appear as a huge ball of light, or we can choose some human form. When we write our soul contracts, as we discussed in last week's Angel Healing House radio program, we choose certain characteristics for our earthly life to help us learn our lessons. For example, if someone chooses to carry extra weight or being overtly short or tall or appear in a certain way, we challenge ourselves to love ourselves for exactly who we are and not what our physical appearance may be. But the posse of angels really do want us to know that being comfortable with our physical appearance is important as humans. For instance, after after my angelic walk-in experience, which I had in 2003, which, by the way, I speak about in my book, which is entitled, I Am an Angelic Walk-in which also can be purchased on the Angel Healing House website. After I had that experience, um, I remembered that before I incarnated, I had straight blonde hair. And in a very short amount of time, what I started to do is I started to change my ringlet, curly brown hair to straight golden yellow. And while I still feel more comfortable and more myself as a blonde, I also know that I was much taller in heaven, but I'm working on that one. I don't think I'm going to get much, much further than about 5'5", five, five, as there are physical limitations in our human form. Now, in another note on our appearance is that the Posse of Angels wishes to remind us all that without our physical body, here we go. They're saying without our physical body, there is no cellulite, there's no wrinkles, there's no dandruff, there's no things like droopy breasts, there's no more love handles being too fat, too thin, too short, too tall, too wide, too curly, too straight, (laughs) plagued by plaque, acne, bad breath, the heartbreak of psoriasis or baldness or a myriad of, of, of other things that we have as humans. When we cross over, there's nothing to feed, there's nothing to empty, there's nothing to wipe, and there is nothing to maintain. Now, there's an interesting note that they want to remind us on appearance in heaven. Many souls, many souls do appear around the age of 25 years of age or early 20s. And the reasoning for that is that it was in this time that we were at our prime, we were healthy, we were fit, we were young. Now, the exception to this is when a soul crosses over from the physical to the non-physical and they have their reunion or what I call their welcome home party to meet friends and relatives who have already crossed over. A soul will often then take on the appearance that the newly arrived soul in heaven remembers that that person looked like. You know, when I had uh, my second near-death experience, when I drowned, when I was almost 15 years of age, I met my grandparents. And they looked as if they were old people because that's the way I remembered them um, when, as an eight-year-old. Um, uh, as they had both crossed over when I was eight. And so um, they can go back um, at any time, at any moment, to change their appearance. But in order for that soul that just crossed over to recognize them, they often wear that, that, uh, that former appearance. In understanding, that, in, in understanding that we are just energy, and that we are affected by all other energies, we then can choose to manifest whatever uh, we desire with our thoughts. When we're across the veil, we can choose where we want to live in one true home across, uh, in one true home behind the veil of forgetfulness. I talk about my beautiful Italian villa I lived at and the majestic uh, Victorian home I lived um, lived on, um, which was off the shores of uh, Eastern the United States, and uh, the beautiful views over the water. You can choose what country you want to live in, uh, whether you want to live oceans or mountains, what type of house. Is it lavishly big like a mansion, or is it a tent in the wilderness? Having chosen our appearance we and where we want to live, we can choose to experience the, th- the same things 
that we experienced on the earth plane. You know, we can still eat and cook. We can still order ta-da, a Chinese meal. But the sensations of enjoying a meal are quite different because of the actual physical textures. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that while many of these things that they have discussed have to do with our individual soul, when we do cross over, we understand ourselves as multidimensional beings, and we start to grasp the utter vastness of not only the universe, but ourselves as part of that universe. When I'll tell you, when my dad crossed over last year, he was so giddy with excitement that he was finally pain-free and healthy after suffering four years after his stroke, and that he could be in so many places at once. He was laughing hysterically from the other side. I heard him. He said, I can be with you and Pete in California. I can be with your mom in Silver Spring, Maryland. I can be with your brother in New Jersey. I can be in so many places at the same time. The biggest surprise for most people in dying is that they realize that death is not the end. And whether we individually are met by spirit guides or angels, or whether we see a tunnel or go through a light white, or, or, uh, or go to the white light, whether the experience is positive or negative, it pales in comparison to the biggest surprise of all, which is that we realize that we are still who we are. You know, when we pass away or cross over, whether we will see um, it, uh, uh, what we will see, sorry, depends solely on what we believe in. So if you believe that you'll be met by God or Jesus or Buddha or spirit guides or a heavenly band full of angels, they will manifest for you. If you believe you're going to hell, there'll be a fire and brimstone and horrific things then that is what will manifest for you. The Posse of Angels is reminding us that everything is only energy and that whatever beliefs you choose to hold on to, they will perpetuate for you. You know, everyone, when we cross over, it is like passing from one room to another. And those like myself who have near-death experiences can identify fully with the saying that in my father's house, there are many mansions. Because we all carry God within us, it's up to us to how we will furnish our mansion. If we furnish ourselves, our lives, so to speak, with forgiveness and unity, beauty, love, kindness, generosity, and compassion, then we know exactly the energies we will be met with upon awakening across the veil. Yet if we have lived lives that are selfish, corrupt, with corrupt motives, judgmental, things like hatred or racism and greed and control, then those things will be met by the same energy across the veil. This is a simple case of quantum physics with energy resonating to its own like energy. You know, so when we cross over, we each individually enter different dimensions depending on our vibrational frequency that we hold. These dimensions or levels across the veil range from the higher, more expansive, light-filled, positive frequencies to the very heavy, dense vibrations of the lower energies. And the posse of angels is chiming in and they're reminding everyone about the word called the word hell. They are saying the only hell that there is, is the hell that we make for ourselves right here on earth. What some people refer to as hell is the darker planes of heaven. And make no mistake about it, you know, these places are gray and they are murky as they don't have a bright light radiant energy that's held in the higher dimensions. These dark planes of heaven, they often resonate with a negative level of uh, negative forms and they are in closest proximity to the earth. Now, those that find themselves here after crossing over, they go there to work out addictions and fears and guilt and they have to stay there as long. It's not a punishment, but it's just energy matching energy and they stay there as long as they then work it out, and then they can go to the next level. Um, and when in my book, One True Home, I share with readers the different levels in the afterlife where we continue to create and passionately express ourselves 
through music, through art, through gardening, taking care of animals, counseling, and we stay in heaven for however long it serves our soul. You know, when death happens, everyone, we have the choice as to how we decide that we're going to feel about it happening. We can accept it and we can be happy about opening up to the next part of our soul's growth. Or we can be like Woody Allen and we can say, I'm not afraid of death. It's just that I don't want to be there when it happens. Yet, however we choose to feel about death, know very well that everyone, it's not the end point. I like the expression, when you're on the spiritual path, you're always at the beginning. Rather than an end, death, so-called death, is the realization of our purpose in creation's history, how we fit in, and what possibilities for future growth and learning still exist. We do not leave our physical incarnation until we are ready for our next advancement, either in the world of physical form or in another dimension beyond that. You are listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, on the wonderful Angel Healing House radio program. And if you're watching it on Facebook Live TV on the Transformation Talk radio page, welcome to you as well. When we come back, we are going to take some of those calls for the free angel reading. And you can always call the show on 1-800-930-2819. And when I would love to bring forth some channeled messages for you. So be back in a minute. Have you discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com? Author Claire Candy Hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight. Angels of Faith is an inspiring story of healing, comfort, and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared, but embraced with joy. One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through Angel Ariel's five most important lives on Earth, as well as her experiences in the afterlife, and helps us remember our own journey across the veil. And Claire Candy's autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk In, which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when Claire Candy walked out of her body and Angel Ariel walked in, creating heaven on Earth for herself and others. To find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. You're back with me, Claire Candy Hoff, on Angel Healing House Radio or Angel Healing House Radio TV. If you're watching this live from the Transformation Talk Radio Facebook page, um, as you now can watch the show as well as listen to it. So uh, you can always call in, just a reminder, for a free angel reading. Uh, that number is one 800 930 2819 uh, for a free angel reading with myself or to discuss this very interesting, wonderful topic of how we live on. So let's go to our first caller, George Teta. You are calling from California. Welcome to the show. You're on with myself, Claire Candy Hoff. Oh, yes, yes. Hello. Y- y- yes, hello. Uh, Welcome to the show. I can hear you now. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Claire Candy. Thank you. You're um, I was wondering about an angel reading, or if you have any messages for me. Oh, okay. From my What's father go- or my brother. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, um, do you do you have a particular question? What is what is happening in your life? Um, many things, like we and. Uh, 
the health. Uh, I have some problem with the health and also thinking about a career and uh, I'm not sure which path to go. Okay, which path to go. Well, a lot of times, George Hedda, when, um, when our health is, uh, is out of whack, when we are feeling imbalanced um, and our health is not the best, then it affects the choices that we make in our careers. Um, I've helped people um, and my business, Angel Healing House, um, over the last 14 years. And out of the myriad of people that I've seen, um, I've noticed that um, when their decisions and their choices are not honorable, they're not respectable for who they are, um, that they carry over into different areas in our lives, in their lives. So um, it would be a good thing, um, while I'm shuffling the cards, it would be a good thing for your health to see if the choices that you are making um, are honorable for you. Um, and um, we can do that by looking at the four at the four. Um, different bodies that we have. You have a physical body. Are you um, nourishing your body with clean foods, things like things that don't have flavoring, coloring, preservatives, um, you know, um, high doses of sugar, um, if you don't eat genetically modified foods, you know, organic foods, um, if you have clean filtered water. I mean, these all things keep the body clean, and it, they keep our, our senses bright, and so we're able to make um, clear, honorable choices. Um, so you can look at your mental body. Do you keep your thoughts positive? Our emotional body, are you doing things that, uh, that make you feel balanced and make you feel nurtured and nourished? And spiritually, we honor ourselves with reflective, quiet time to allow ourselves to be just who we are, and we honor our connection to that higher power, to that higher source. Um, so those things are coming to mind for your health, for you to really take a look at. And if in your career, um, if, if the question that you have to ask yourself is, is it something that you're doing uh, that nourishes and nurtures your soul? Um, if you're passionate about it, if it's fun, if it makes you feel excited and enthusiastic, all of these things are important to you. So if you can answer yes to those, then pursue them. But do not compromise and do not uh, settle for anything less um, than that which makes you feel excited and uh, enthusiastic about going to any job or any career. Uh, when it comes to career, what what are you doing now? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm just um, taking care of my family. Okay. Now, take out the Which word job. Which is a big job. job but <laughs> I know. I know. Ta please. Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take, out, take out the word just because taking care of a family and raising children is one of the most important jobs that we could ever, ever do for the planet. That is the perpetuation of the generations. And, um, you know, for, for um, a, a man or a woman, a mother or father, or, or a guardian, or for that matter, or anybody to say, I'm just this or that or looking after children or raising children, it diminishes the importance of it. So the Posse of Angels wants you to give yourself credit and really pat yourself on the back for the wonderful job that you're doing in rearing a family. All right. So if you, if you do want to work outside of the home and go into a career, think about something that when if you would do it, makes your heart sing, something that's fun, something that you enjoy. Um, uh, a lot of people stay in jobs that they really loathe, they really hate, um, and they come to me for career advice. And I often say to them, they say, oh, well, I can't leave my job because of the money. I can't leave my job because of this or that. And I said, is it the last job on the planet? 
And they, they always laugh and they say, of course, Candy, it's not the last job on the planet. And I say, well, if it's not nourishing your soul, you can go off and you can find another job that nourishes your soul and doesn't make you feel like you're compromising. So I think those are uh, two very important um, uh, messages from the Posse of Angels is to nurture and nourish your soul. Um, and for you, Jorteta, they want you to, do you, do you get time for yourself in rearing your family to nurture and nourish your joys? Uh, I started to get a little time lately. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. Yeah. Well, they want, they want you to know yeah. how important that is. How important that is, you know, uh, when you do have the time to do something creative, you know, something that really nurtures you. Um, because when you do it in that time off from the family, you will feel as if you're restored, you're re-energized, you're recharged. And then when you come back to your family, you will feel like you're full again. And you have the energy to give to them. Let's go to the cards. And um, I'm using the Victorian tarot deck today. Beautiful fairy deck that I received a couple weeks ago. And I've just loved the, the beautiful um, energies of them. Okay. This one is the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. And as you can see there, let me see if I can... Uh, as you can, if you're, if you're listening to that, those that are watching that, this is a beautiful card. There are three little fairies, and they look like they're craftsmen, and they're working on, they look like mandolins or violins, and they're working very hard. Now, this is the card of being recognized, and if you want to say promoted or encouraged, but it is the card of hard work. And uh, the posse of angels want to commend you they're saying, Jorteta, thank you for the hard work that you put in with your family. You're doing a good job. You're doing a wonderful job. But they also want you to know that there's others, other ways that you can, um, in addition, is to allow your creative side. Do you do anything like paint or write or draw or sing, garden? Yeah, I, I do that with my kids mostly, yes. Okay, but this is something yeah, I, that <laughs> <laughs> this is something that you do just for you, not for your kids or not with your kids. And that's the difference. This is something that you do creatively for you, and they want you to do something creatively for you. Take that time out to really nurture your soul creatively. The next card that's coming out for you is the Empress. Oh, my gosh, this is a beautiful card. Um, this, is a, this is a card of creative expression, and there, it's the card of fertility, um, of bringing our creative expressions to the earth plane, and when this card comes out, along with that first card, <coughs> excuse me, it is telling me that it's going to be very beneficial for you to do something creatively just for yourself and to find that time. And the next card that's coming out for you is the Five of Pentacles. And that, that Five of Pentacles is that card Often it's a card of feeling like you don't have, like you're lacking something. So within this whole reading, Jorteta, it appears that the posse of angels are saying to you, they're encouraging you to get more time for you, for your creative expression, to balance out all that you give and now they want you to give to yourself. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you you're, very much. You're very I welcome. You. Thank, thank you. Lots thank you. Have, a, have an absolutely beautiful day and bless you. Take care. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jorteta. And that is a lovely, lovely reminder for all of us that work 
um, is a very important part of our lives. You know, uh, we were talking about the physical and the non-physical. You know, it's really important for us to, <laughs> to remember that we are human beings and things like uh, being able to eat and putting a roof over our head and having clothing and, you know, those little things like eating and a roof over our head, they are really important to us as human beings. But there is that side of us that we really do have to balance and nurture our soul because if we are only working for those physical things, um, then uh, we are not giving to that spiritual side to us, the emotional side to us, uh, that we feel fulfilled, um, and to be able to create balanced and whole lives. Let's go to our next caller. Just a reminder, just a reminder that if you want to call in for that free angel reading with myself and the Posse of Angels, call the show on 1-800-930-2819. Let's go to Stephanie in New York. Stephanie, you are online with myself, Claire Candy Hoff, and Angel Healing House Radio. Hi. Hi, Thank how you. are you? I'm good. Um, sunny again in New York, which is always nice. And, um, yeah, I really like to speak from your intro. I thought it was so interesting. Oh, excuse me. Um, but... All right, well, one of them is, this one I'll ask, when I was at the functional medicine doctors, and the one that my cousin went to doesn't, not only doesn't take my insurance, but isn't new, just doesn't take new people, so I've been going to somebody else, um, but it's so expensive, and I'm, I like, I don't know if I'm just nervous about, um, like, trust trusting like doctors if they sell their own supplements or all that but <clears throat> I was wondering if uh, if they think that it's worth it uh, if the angels think it's worth it for me to just you know go ahead and, and do everything and, and trust and, and that that will help or if I should okay. um, you right. know, figure out something else Okay, the first thing that's coming through, Stephanie, is they're saying, yes, please do trust. Because if you were meant to go see that other fe- uh, functional medicine doctor, then the, then the road would have been clear. And then, the, you know, uh, the, it would have been ease and grace all along. Uh, but you are directed to this other uh, doctor. And, um, and, yes, it is a big big uh, message of trust for you. So they want you to know that all you need to do is just keep saying, show me, show me the easiest path, because now if it's not shown to us with ease and grace, it means that it's not the right path. Uh, If we have to to push in any way, or we have to say yes, but um, then it, then it's not for us. Let's go to the cards and uh, see what comes out for this level of trust. Now, I'll pull two from there, and I'll pull, they're saying, pull one from there as well. Okay. This one's, <laughs> I love this. I don't know if you're you're watching this on, on Facebook Live TV. I, well, that was, but, yeah, I tried, but I for some reason, that was okay, that's one okay. of that's my okay. questions. That's okay. I'll, but, I'll yeah. tell you. This is the two, right. of, the two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is about, our, uh, about uh, balancing our money or balancing, uh, feeling like our uh, supply and abundance is off kilter. Um, so, so they're saying, yes, so they're saying that it's very important for you to trust to trust uh, that the universe will, if they're sending you to this this functional medicine doctor who is expensive, then they're saying that you will have the funds to be able to do this. Uh, the next card that comes out of you is for the Nine of Pentacles. And this is the card. It's so, so funny. These two cards is this is a card of not having enough money. And this is a card of having not too much money, but always feeling like you have enough money. So this is a wonderful indicator for, it's not about the money, it's about you trusting that you will be sent to the most um, important people to get your health back on track. Oh, that's the, those, those two cards 
are so opposite from one, uh, one another that you have to go from feeling imbalanced to feeling as if I'm always I'm always where I'm meant to be. I'm always protected. I'm always provided for with what I really need. And let's go to these other cards here, these mystical um, me, um, me, angel message cards, if you want. And this one is, this is the believe in your dreams cards. Okay. So if you, if you believe, believe that your health is important, then all you need to do is follow the messages and follow the signs that the posse of angels are giving you and say, if they've, if they've led me here, then the abundance will be available. So I hope that's, that's helpful for you, Stephanie. It is. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so yeah, glad. So have, have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care of yourself. Thank you. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. I love I love when those uh, the cards are just so right on. They're just so exact. Those two cards that came out couldn't been any clear about that confirmation. Let's go to our next caller. We have Wanda Allen, and she's from Tempe, Arizona. Wanda, you're on the phone. Hey, Tandy, how you doing? It's Wanda. I'm wonderful, to Wanda. Uh, blessings to you. How Hello. are you? Likewise, um, energy and tandem intense, but moving right along. <laughs> it's funny where the last year has taken us in twists and turns, and it's all good. And we're still here. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Just called in to get something still here. Thank goodness. Um, of course, you know, always the challenges, but I um, feel like I'm in a place of unknown right now, and I'm very sure what to do after that. It was so funny. I did not know what to do. Got on Facebook, and of course, Posse of Angels. Your your show popped up. I said, "You know, I'm calling Candy." <laughs> <laughs> it's like call Ghostbusters, call Angel Healing House. <laughs> so any so That's do you it. want really just... do you want do you want a general reading to Wanda, or would you like uh, a specific question? General reading, but really just um, in a place, once again, of unknown. And I know, like you were saying, it's so funny, the conversation you were having before. Just the, um, I suppose we're really, as this, as the collective, we're all in the same boat, you know, really just a consciousness of trusting and knowing all as well. Oh, absolutely. You know what? I just got, I got several Facebook chats this morning from clients and they're saying, I just can't do this anymore. I just can't do this anymore. You know, and, and, and I said, okay. I said, the posse of angels are saying, don't do this anymore. You need to. And, 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 and personally, uh, uh, I'll make this quick because I have a couple more callers to Wanda, but, but personally, after 14, uh, not 14 years, how long was it? After nine years of doing my Angel Healing House newsletter, the Posse of Angels said, you can't do this anymore. You're getting so busy now with TV and, and uh, radio and everything else that you need to let this go. And I said, but how am I going to do this? They said, just do it. Just do it, and you're gonna um, um, and you're gonna make room for the new coming in. And I said, okay, all we gotta do is trust. And Tawanda Allen said it, everybody. You listen to this woman. She's walked the walk, and she's been through the fire, and she knows how to let go. <laughs> you're, 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 oh my gosh! Look at the card that came in for you. This is the three of of well, it's in the, in this deck, it's the three of springs, which is the three of wands. This is the card that all you need to do is to be and the he's playing the lute, he is playing the music, and the birds are attracted to him. This is the, the your ships are coming in card. This is the card that all mm -hmm. we have to do now is trust, and then with ease and grace, things come to us. Perfect card for your reading. Uh, the Four of Swords, this is the, the rest card. The rest card and recuperation card is knowing that over the last 10 plus years, you've done such an extraordinary job. You really have done an extraordinary job. And now it is time to, to reap the rewards of what's coming in for you. And one, one angel oracle card from my mystical deck 
Let's see what's coming in here for the lovely Tawanda. Oh, my gosh. Good fortune card. Look at that rainbow. Invite mm -hmm. invite the magic in. And they want to, want to say they're patting you on the head. Isn't this sweet? They're patting you on the head. They're patting you on the back, Tawanda. And they're saying blessings to you, beloved, beautiful one, because you've helped so many other people. You've helped yourself. And now you're going to reap the rewards and watch the magic coming in. So beautiful 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 reading for you tawanda i'm so happy for you and just like you say be blessed thank you so much i'm glad i followed my instinct and um you're right you know we've done the work so now is the turn now we just sit back and open up to receive the beauty of uh, and all those rewards coming to us. Have an absolute blessed day. I'm sending lots of love to you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Beautiful energy in Tawanda there. Thank you so much. Let's go to our next caller. Let's go to Chris in Orangeburg. Chris, you're on the line with Angel Healing House Radio and myself, Claire Candy Hoff. Nice to speak with you. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. What's life like for Chris? It's good, but I'm on, uh, I was wondering about my love life and my money. Okay. All right. Love life and money. You know, sometimes, sometimes, as I said to Georgetta uh, earlier on, sometimes we have to look and see if we're honoring our lives. And you have to ask yourself, Chris, if you are honoring your love life, if you are um, um, honoring yourself, if you are honoring yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, if you're nurturing your soul, um, if you're not uh, if you're loving yourself, not in a selfish way, but uh, in, a, in a spiritual way of who, uh, honoring yourself, um, then you will find honor in a relationship outside of you. And uh, money is usually an indicator. Money is usually an indicator of whether we are nurturing and nourishing our souls. So with only a couple of minutes left, let's go to out the cards and see what comes out. Oh my gosh, you got the world card. Now there is going to be a change for you. There's definitely going to be a change on the horizon. Um, the more that you nurture and you nourish yourself um, and you find, uh, you find peace within um, and you stop looking for it in the outside and you do things um, that uh, make you enthusiastic and happy, uh, then you will. Uh, feel more abundant within and then once we feel abundant within we will feel abundance out and you also got the tower card which um, you have to allow things to change in your life if you want change to come in you have to allow change uh, in into your life and your next card is don't worry be happy this is the dolphin card. And the more that you put your emphasis on what you do have and be grateful, then the more you, that you will have in your life. So the show is just about to come to a close. Thank you so much, Chris, for calling in. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye. And that just about wraps up the show today. Thank you to all my callers. Thank you to my listeners. Thank you for watching the show on the Transformation Talk Radio page, on uh, Facebook page, where you can watch the show from now on. And if you're listening to this as an archive show, welcome everyone on the Angel Healing House um, radio uh, host page of Claire Candy Hoff. Now, don't forget that Angel Healing House Radio TV airs every week at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you'd like to receive uh, the, um, if you'd like to receive the information on my books, on my services, on all of those things, please go to the Angel Healing House website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. And until next time, everyone, please do allow your absolutely beautiful radiant light to shine forth and to go out and fashion a beautiful life for yourself. Take care, love, and as always, angel blessings, and I'll speak with you again next week. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.